Even though you haven't worn earrings in a long time, you can still feel the holes in your ears from when you got them pierced at the mall after begging your mother for years to let you. You may have been told that piercings never heal, but this isn't always true. Not really. Can ear piercings heal? Yes, but they tend to close up faster. The faster you take them out after getting your lobes pierced. The more you wear the greatest huggy earrings or those studs, the longer it will take for the holes to close. It also depends on how much trauma the lobe has been through. This is why you should never go to a store with a piercing booth and instead go to a piercing shop with a good reputation. Dr. Deborah Fox of Dr. Fox Online Pharmacy says that piercings that are still in the lobe don't close. Due to the piercings, the edges of the skin can't heal over the wound. Piercing hurts more than just the top layer of skin. It also hurts the cartilage under the skin. The biggest problems with the piercing healing are infection and damage to the area around it. The doctor says that after getting an ear pierced, it's important to move the earring around in the wound and keep the wound and the earring clean. How long does it take for the piercing site to heal? That's what you need to know about the top ear piercing trends for 2022. As has been said, the healing process can begin as soon as the piercings are taken out. In some cases, the piercing site might heal just a few hours after it was done, but this depends on the person. This is because your immune system fights hard to close the hole you make in your ear. But it usually takes 6 to 12 weeks for a new piercing to heal. This is because the cartilage needs more time to heal when the earring is higher up on the ear. For the first 6 months after getting your ears pierced, you should never let the hole close by not wearing your earrings for more than 24 hours. After the first 6 months, there is less chance that the hole will close, but it is still possible. So don't say for sure that you'll never be able to put an earring in without re-piercing your ear. To help the body heal, it's important to keep infections from happening. Deborah Fox, MD, says, wash your hands before you touch your ears. Twice a day, use cotton dipped in warm, soapy water to clean the area around your ear piercing. Wipe the spot dry. Use cotton wool that has been soaked in an alcohol-based disinfectant twice a day for the best results. How to choose an ear piercing, according to the experts. How to stop ear holes from closing. Dr. Fox says that if you want your piercings to stay healthy, you should keep the earring in for at least 6 weeks. This will also help the area heal in the best way possible. This is, of course, if you don't have any bad side effects like redness, swelling, pain, pus, or a higher body temperature. If so, you should call your doctor or piercer right away because you probably have an infection. Dr. Fox also says that you should always wear metal earrings. Only wear earrings that are made of metal. Not metal alloys, as nickel, a known trigger of skin allergies, is often found in these. Anything less than 24 carats is an alloy, thus gold must be at least that. Even stainless steel and silver be used in surgery may have other metals like copper in them. Before permitting any earrings or other rings to be inserted into the ear, receive careful guidance if you know you have a metal allergy or suffer from dermatitis. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to our channel.